an incredible honor. It's something that I didn't ever think I'd be able to experience. The first time we stepped out on the field with our uniforms, it's just like pure joy. You're seeing everyone in the stands cheering for you, and you're standing with your teammates, and like you just can't help but like smile. All you want to do is just soak it all in because it's just so incredible to be there. When I made Team Canada, I was like, is this really like happening? Because it's always been like a dream of mine. It was such an honor. Like it's something that definitely not a lot of people get the opportunity to do. The first time that you put it on, you kind of get like those butterflies in your stomach, especially when you're on the field being able to literally scream the national anthem to the crowd and with your teammates. It's the best feeling ever. Just knowing that everyone is willing to do whatever it takes because we all want this so badly. It's an incredible feeling knowing everyone has your back. Just a huge surge of emotions go through me, how proud I am of every single girl. I just get so happy too that I'm able to stand there with some of the best 20 girls and six coaches and I get to share this experience with them. Team Canada's little tradition of Dylan the Beaver. Coach Jeter told us he's been to Poland and England and London and all that. This is Dylan the Beaver. He's been around for ever since Coach Jeter has been our coach. And the Beaver is the significance of hard work. He's the hardest working animal in the animal kingdom. If you have Dylan, you're responsible for taking him to every meal with you. If you go out, Dylan's got to come with you. When you get Dylan, you know that you've done a good job and that your teammates have recognized that. And so it can be an incentive to work harder as well as extremely rewarding when you do get it. Well, that's definitely the Canadian way. If you look at our alumni in the past, it was all about grit, hustle, hard work, don't take anything for granted. And that's really how Canadians live their lives. And it shows on the lacrosse field through our players and the way they play the game. I think we really know how to kind of like flip the switch when it's time to be serious and when it's time to like have our fun. Being with each other these 10 days, getting super close, you've really seen the real <laughs> kind of side of people like when people start to get out of their shells. At the training camp, Eve was still kind of quiet and there was one day we were playing music and started dancing and Eve just came out of nowhere and just started pulling out these dance moves we'd never seen before. From then on, we were like, Eve, you can't be shy around us, like we've seen your true self now. So I always chew gum during my warm up. One time I couldn't find the garbage. My trainer was like, just put it in my hand and I was like, are you sure? She was like, yeah, that's fine, don't worry. And then I played very good that game. And then it's just been like that throughout my life. When Jillian laughs, occasionally this like sound will come out, just a really weird noise. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe like a Canada Goose laugh. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> We're all so comfortable around each other. It's like having 19 new sisters. The teammates and the bonds that you create with them is something that will last a lifetime. It's one of those events where you don't have to go out and see the world, the world comes to you. I just love the culture that I've been introduced with. Seeing so many girls and meeting so many girls from all over the world, it's been incredible. We had opening ceremonies. All the Kenyans were teaching us their dances and stuff, and I think that was one of the coolest experiences so far because you have all these girls coming together, initiating these dances and stuff because we just want to like, get to know each other. We want to meet new people. Honestly, it gives me goosebumps just thinking about it, how fortunate I am, and now there's so many other girls that are getting the opportunity to try a sport and actually see the world. On the lacrosse field, it's a 60-minute battle, but away from the lacrosse field, you're building new friendships. It's just unreal seeing all the different like backgrounds and types of people come together and play the sport we all love. I hope to see even more countries come out and be able to do things like this. Definitely the growth has been phenomenal. Seeing countries from like five different continents. Just four years ago, there was the nine less teams. And I think already over the four years that so many more countries want to be involved in a tournament like this, that's really important to the growth of not only sport, but women's sport. World Lacrosse is doing a great job in developing our sport with the goal to get into the Olympics in 2028, and we're making great strides to accomplish that goal. The little girls, even little boys, like coming up to you and asking for your autograph. It's like, <laughs> you want my autograph, really? Us being able to have that experience with them will get them to kind of carry that tradition too as they grow up, growing the game with younger generations. My daughter knows that the senior national team players have tattoos of maple leaves. She says, Daddy, I want a stamp of a maple leaf. 
I'm glad she's still calling it a stamp rather than a tattoo, but that's what she sees. And so she's really growing up knowing the Canadian way, knowing the value of what it means to put the maple leaf on your chest and wearing that jersey, even at a, at a young age. I owe it to my players and the alumni really going above and beyond to get the younger girls involved. That's paving the way for a bright future for them. So proud that we've all been given this opportunity at such a young age to be young role models for these girls and boys. No matter what gender you are or age you are, you can still play a crucial role in inspiring someone younger than you or even older than you. Every time that we sing Team Canada, it's always left hand up because it's closest to the heart. And that's been passed down from years of the Canadian lacrosse program and it's really the word that our team plays with. A lot of hustle, a lot of passion in it. They play with a lot of emotion. When we didn't win the game against the Americans, there was some emotion out there and that comes from the heart. These girls are proud representatives of Canada and they make me proud to be their head coach.